We all want to go back in time. That's a dream, right? So if you miss the opportunities in Emirates Hills and Dubai Hills to own a mansion on a large plot of land, you now have La Vida in the Oasis by Mar. These extremely spacious mansions meet a wide range of requirements for ultra high net worth investors or end users. The Oasis is set to become one of the best master developments in Dubai, spanning 100 million square feet, exclusively dedicated to villas and mansions, no buildings at all. Positioned between the new and old Dubai, the location is poised to become a vibrant future hub right in the heart of the city. You always have to keep the long term in mind. La Vida offers a collection of 43 masterfully crafted mansions surrounded by tranquil waterways and lush greenery. Imagine yourself living here, parking for up to eight cars, beautifully landscaped exteriors and spacious mansions designed to accommodate multiple generations. Life is going to be beautiful for you and your family. But this video will focus on the grand spacious layout of La Vita in the Oasis. It feels as though MR collaborated closely with an investor or end user to create this thoughtful design and layout targeting those who want everything they desire in a home. So let's take a closer look at the floor plan. So this is the sizes and floor plan for La Vita, the Oasis, medium mansion. So we start with the basement which is 9191 square feet and let's go to the layout. We start with the lift stair lobby. Of course there is a lift which goes to all the floors, it's G plus 2. And from the lobby the first thing that we see is a cinema. Of course you need to spend quality time with the family. So this is one part. And then, come the, then comes the health aspect. So we move to the right and you can see the powder room, a washroom, a massage room. So you can call your masseuse, you can even call your barber at home so you don't have to step out of the house. And this room can easily be converted into one of the best gyms, the wellness area, with your own gym equipment, of course. The sign of luxury, your own gym, you don't have to worry about cleaning the sweat because you have staff to take care of that. And of course the greenery is here, that's always good. Now going, let's come back to the lift style lobby, going to the other side. This is the entertainment lounge. So you need to picture yourself. It's a great entertainment area. You can even have your own uh, bar area for friends and families. And it's, you know, it can even be a party room. So going down here, this is the staff quarter, easily fit two or three single beds. It even has a bath, so the driver, the cooks and everybody can stay here. If you have a gardener private, if you have one, yeah. So let's now go to the uh, ground floor. The ground floor is 8,427 square feet. So again, for that, let's start with uh, the entrance. This is such a wide, beautiful entrance, the steps, and it leads to the double door, three meter high doors, it's going to be mind blowing. It's a mansion, so it is going to be grand. So this is the entrance lobby. You can see such a great foyer. And let's move straight in. And this is the grand piano. Of course, it's, you have to make a sign of wealth. This is one. And of course, you can have your own... Uh, in fact, you can even have a motorcycle if, some, if something you know unique, but a piano, grand piano is always good to have. Now, let's uh, move uh, to the right first. So, this is the formal living area. Of course, when the guest comes, they need a very private, very special. So, it's always good to have a separate formal living area. And now, from the entrance lobby. Okay, you see the lift here. Okay, so, this is the passage. Yeah. Now, the passage, of course, first takes you to the porter room and for the guests and then continue down you see you'll head out to your office you can convert it into a library your office we all need an office that's you know critically important right now and uh, it's a huge office size and you can have your meetings everything here and now let's go to the uh, guest bedroom just see the size of the guest bedroom 4.5 times 6 meter with a walk-in wardrobe and a guest bathroom of course and suite you can even use this as a parents room 
in-laws room yeah and then of course this is your own uh, private green area on the other side and now let's go to this side so this is the kitchen entrance and you can see the main kitchen or the wet kitchen or the grease kitchen it's called so many names where all the chefs and cooks will be cooking so the smell doesn't go out in the mansion and uh, going inside along here of course there's a storage pantry and the best part of course you see there is a staff living dining area with so much stuff you need a separate dining area of course for the staff and then again the maids room easily fit two or three single beds and the maids bathroom as well so it's made for you know they they, they know that you have you'll have a lot of stuff so going uh, so let's go here so this is the show kitchen and of course you can see the large island you can have so many bar stools you know it can can be converted to so many things breakfast area so yeah so there is there is a breakfast lounge as well and this is a nice seating area and just look at the 16 seater dining table space of course of course this is critical for a mansion now let's uh, now going outside you can see the terrace it's huge very nicely done you can do so many things uh, swimming pool lounge chairs and this is uh, outdoor sitting area with a barbecue you see you can have your barbecue here so it's planned unbelievably well and this is the sunken seating with you know for the winters in Dubai fire it's always good and for the swimmers and the, when you're having a barbecue you have a separate outside powder room and a shower of course so the wet water doesn't come inside and let's uh, I think that's it for the ground floor now let's go to the first floor which is 8666 square feet so it's always good to start with the landing the lobby so every floor has a do you see this large lobby area landing it's great from the lift and let's start with this side so this is the master suite one now just look at the size it's 6.5 times 5 meter but it even has a living area a master living area 6.5 times 4.1 so total it's 13 by 9 meters it's one of the biggest rooms you'll ever see in Dubai at least for a freehold development and of course uh, his walk-in wardrobe very good size but of course her walk-in wardrobe will have is double the size of course with, with having so many things uh, the you know the nice sandals shoes even bags bag collection and you see nice spot for for beauty and everything so it's it's well planned and uh, this is a bathtub and a standing shower of course and it's connected to the large balcony you can see it's actually the balcony is connected to the whole of quite a few rooms now going down now so now we go to this is the powder room that's good to have of course and this is the family living room yes makes sense very very nice area spacious and let's go to other side now this is bedroom number one very good size bathroom and suite and just look at the walk-in wardrobe great uh, everything is spacious in this house it's a true mansion yeah now let's go to the other side this is open to below so of course it shows it's very high high ceilings now this is now let's go with uh, actually yeah so this is bedroom number four again with a walk-in wardrobe bathroom number four and this is the and this is the master suite two master suite two so you can see it's uh, again with a walk-in wardrobe master bathroom two bathtub and standing shower 
and then you see storage here of course you need the storage and look at this you have your own nanny's room with her own bath so when the kids are awake nanny doesn't have to go to the up, up the stairs and up and down the stairs or the lift she or he can easily come to the kids room and take care of the baby so this is a very well planned mansion now bedroom bathroom bedroom number three it's not in any specific order again very good size and bedroom number two good size again again both the master suites are with the bathtub and standing shower the other uh, rooms are in suite but with no bathtub only standing shower and bed bathroom uh, sorry bedroom number three has its own private balcony and of course uh, master suite two bedroom number four and the master suite have a large balcony so the only the rooms with without a balcony are uh, the bedroom number one and bedroom number two so this is uh, an explanation so let's uh, now go to the roof floor which is uh, 2200 square feet very good size for a roof floor and for the roof floor let's start here's the lift lobby okay you come up to the lobby it's another roof lounge you can do so many things here as well it has a powder room it has a roof terrace you can have your own dining barbecue and again a seating area for the family this is actually for a very big family this mansion yeah or for people who entertain a lot so this is uh, the thing now let's discuss about the thing so this is the total size you can just imagine 28,500 square feet it's not your average uh, villa or mansion it's a real pure mansion in the oasis so that's it for the layout let's go back to the video I'm sure you love the floor plan and the impressive architecture it was a long video but trust me it was one of the best floor plans I've ever seen now here's the payment plan the project is set to complete in December 2028 about four and a half years from now you don't need to worry about the construction MR will handle everything if you were to purchase a similar size plot not a house in Emirates Hills or Dubai Hills it would cost between 40 to 50 million dirhams and a mansion over there is way above 100 million dirhams here however you can get a completely luxuriously built seven bedroom mansion the floor plan that you saw for just 58 million dirhams that's around 16 million US dollars or a six bedroom mansion for 38 million dirhams approximately 10 million US dollars this is certainly a better investment than a branded apartment in business bay so yes this is not for everyone when I said only 58 million dirhams it's mainly targeting the wealthy the land is huge it's a mansion and the ultra wealthy luxury market rarely experiences recessions there might be slight corrections but never a full downturn so if you're an ultra high net worth investor or a multimillionaire, this is one of the best opportunities for you and you will always win with MR. It's like going back in the past. So if you're interested, please connect with me and thank you for watching this video till the end. My name is Asfar Naeem. Let's make it happen.